Well, the company behind the very popular Las Vegas show, Absinthe, has bought a California town right to our south. Yes, Spiegel World says it chose the community of Nipton to expand and turn it into a living town and artistic oasis. It's an hour southwest from our area, 20 minutes from Prim. So Joshua Pagaro stopped by Nipton today and spoke to its brand new owner. Spiegel World bought the town last year after the property had been sitting empty for several years. Staff is working to clear debris and turn empty lots into a circus village. Spiegel World is aiming to use Nipton as a place where its artists can recharge and create new acts. Everything we do on the strip, whether it's absent at Caesars Palace, OPM at Cosmopolitan or Atomic Saloon at Venetian, needs constant development. We're always looking at building big new acts. Ross Mullison, impresario extraordinaire, says the area reminds him of his native Australia. Nipton's a very unusual area in that it's in the middle of the Mojave Desert, but it's an oasis. Roxanne Lang and her late husband, Jerry Freeman, previously owned the town. Before Spiegel World bought it for nearly $3 million, Lang sold Nipton to a cannabis company. They wanted to convert Nipton into a marijuana retreat, but that didn't work out. Spiegel World plans to beautify the town. Just making the, trying to return the desert back to what it was. Um, but then in March, we start work. We've got our first workshop production out there. We'll be out there for two weeks. With Nipton has between 15 to 20 residents. Much of the businesses, including the Hotel California, are closed. But Spiegel World has plans to reopen it and convert another of the buildings into a restaurant. Spiegel World is also planning to do a project here that's inspired by the arrival of Formula One racing to Las Vegas. Reporting in Nipton, Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now. As he mentioned, Spiegel World hoping to be fully done with the transformation in Nipton by end of year in time for Formula One, their opening, but the company adds it also won't rush opening the town to the public.